whatever, buddy. You attacked us. This. With nature, or it'll mess with you. Being approached by someone named Isafia. You are friends of Jahira, are you not? She is of the Druidic Order that follows Seniad, one of the three Archdruids. While I do not share their philosophy, it is because of their pacifist doctrines that atrocities against nature continue, like the fool to the northwest that entraps animals and enslaves them for his petty tasks. As a shadow druid, I fight so that nature is left untouched. There is no room for society to live alongside. This must be enforced through fear, and the removal of the naive taint Jahira and her kind have sown. Jahira saying, Or is it because of your extremist doctrine more atrocities against nature are performed as an act of revenge and retaliation to your cruel misdeeds? You and your blasted kin harm the Great Mother more than the civilization that you seek to oppose. You have done this by antagonizing nature with one of its most wondrous creations, the humankind. You shall be dealt with swiftly, as will the animal enslaver. Unlike you, we have the strength and will to oppose him. Zephia saying, You will find no slaves here, Jahira. Only willing warriors, both humans and beasts. But I can see that it is true. You are among those who lie willingly about us. You want to kill me and prove yourself the stronger? Do it then, but know that by your hand, a true defender of nature shall be slain. So, these shadow druids are not reacting to Jahira very friendly at all. Another one struck down. You point, I punch. Oh, more Taz Loy. You've a lot more to the group. Seems to be a cave there. And investigate that short soon enough. Well, might as well look into it right now. Saving it. Peter of the North saying, Move along, friends. Nothing to see here. Just a humble woodsman doing a little spelunking. Here saying, Accompanied by a horde of equally humble baby wyverns, state your purpose here, lest I follow my duty as nature's servant and determine it for myself. A <laughs> carrot saying, uh, This is an odd place to meet a woodsman. Are you not afraid of those baby wyverns behind you? You just don't know the subtleties of wood and wood-related activities. These creatures are docile, and, and it is worth the risk. Um, even in the darkest of caves, it can be a rewarding experience for the woodsman that knows how to handle himself. Uh, um, subterranean trees can yield the best material for carving uh, ornamental things. Subterranean trees? Are you quite sure you know what you're talking about? Certainly. Have I given cause for you to doubt me? Of course not. Everything is just as it should be. There's nothing untoward about me or my wyvern. I mean, there's something, nothing untoward about these wyverns. Are you implying something? <laughs> Garrett just kind of chuckles a bit and says, Do your actions not seem odd to you? Um, not at all. It is not uncommon for a woodsman to seek the comfort of natural caverns and... And, oh, the blazes with it. You can tell by your questions that you suspect me of lying, and I tire of the ruse. No, I am not a simple woodsman. I am training these beasts to serve as guards. And now that you have interrupted me, I shall never I shall never have them ready for the mine. Your presence has agitated them. They will be unmanageable for days now. Perhaps perhaps I can placate them with meat. 
your meat. Mincing, you enslave poor innocent little wyverns? Minsk shall have to take the boot to your vile deeds, yes sir. Not bad boots. Hmm. I wonder if my trainees would leave them after they are done eating your corpse. Oh, you're going down. Look out. Uh, looks like their uh, tail is poisonous, or rather, I should say, venomous. Down they go. Any more? Nope. Searching the man, he had some armor and some magic arrows on him. Interesting. Searches for traps. I'm gone. I can, but try. I've done had enough of it. Doesn't find any, but does find another mithril ring. Very nice. You point, squeaky wheel gets the kick. So apparently he was a member of the Iron Throne. Full plate and packing steel. Training members to serve as guards. I mean, trading wyverns to serve as guards. Member wyverns? Yeah, why not? <laughs> uh oh. Oh, vampiric wolves. That's not good. I remember these things. Alright. Let's see if we can somehow incapacitate them. Nope. Oh, wait, maybe with a stun wand. Stunned. All right, try to get two of them with Aganazar's Scorcher. All right. Yes, oh, omnipresent authority. I'm not. Of course. That wasn't so bad. That wand of stunning proving itself to be very useful in that circumstance. Seem to travel farther to the west or to the north. Nope. The place to go is south or east. Oh, there seem to be some peaceful uh, black bears there. We'll leave them alone. Hmm. Large and gnarled old tree. Hmm. It seems to have an entrance. Someone is living there. First, let's explore the rest of the area here. Well, here's the stone circle again. So I think that's... Oh, no, there's this area behind the tree. Should look at that. Nope, doesn't seem to be anything there. Party saving and entering the treehouse. I've done had enough. All right, everyone searches the place looking for traps. Gold, sling, and a quarter staff. Potions. Very useful. Potion of freedom. Healing potions. And an antidote. 
Okay. Just heading up the stairs here. Good for you to watch your actions while in this wood. Being approached by a very old looking druid with a big beard named Amarand, saying, Senia's followers are well known to me. You travel with the one known as Jahira. Her naive views of society living in harmony with nature must be cleansed from the world so that nature might regain the respect it deserves. At a shadow arch druid, it falls to me to be the sickle that cleaves your parasitic taint from this forest. There will be no talking. No negotiation. Well, at least he makes things clear, doesn't he? Jir saying, Ah, the infamous Shadow Arch Druid himself. As unbalanced and unreasonable as any of his followers, as one can judge by the way of this greeting. And if the sickle that will try to cut me down is as dull as your wit, then I have very little to fear. Carrot and I shall clear this wood of the taint of Shadow Druids, so that the true Druids can resume their caring nurturing of the forest. Amaran saying, you are as good at platitudes as your mentor, Seniad. Min saying, Minsk doesn't understand. Why do all these people hate Jahira so much? She's a nice lady. Maybe a little too bossy and a bit edgy. Hmm, actually she reminds me of Minsk, of birth, the unmarried, back home. What, boo? No, I don't think I want her to pull my ear again. Imagine what she would do to us if she knew we got Khalid so drunk at the Jovial Juggler. <clears throat> says Khalid. So it was you. Rest assured, we'll have some words on this later, Minsk. Sometimes I think you do that on p p purpose, Minsk. The Great Mother does not care if you understand her or not, Bug, says Amarant. She walks her own course, and so should I, her servant. Or perhaps you were expecting the release of a trespasser. Fools. Nature is brutal, efficient, and unforgiving. You will get no help from me. Jair saying, hand over Maratha now, Amarand. Or are you truly not Archdruid here? Amarand says, I am Archdruid here, and I make the decisions. And Darthy merely extends my will with force. He is away, leading the rituals on the island to cleanse this wood of the taint. Only he can release those I have ceded to him. Seniad will learn that his days are numbered, as are those of his feeble followers. Oh, no you don't. You've a task for the group. Here it's going to use the wand. And then shoot. I'll do my best. And attack. <laughs> Some arch druid. 